Today is April 21, 2.33 p.m. And we are seeing some unusual options on RRC, that's Range Resources. And uh, if you notice, uh, the past uh, five days has been down red days. And so has it bottomed? Um, and uh, also earnings also coming up too. So what are the unusual options telling us? April 25 is the earnings. Without further ado, let's take a look at them. Uh, you'll see here at 10.05 a.m. these 10,000 contracts here for the May 19th. Keep in mind this is after earnings, okay? So um, that's um, uh, tw uh, 28 strike calls, 24 strike puts, okay? And so basically they're selling these puts for 65 taking that credit of what they uh, collected to buy it for 60, uh, buy the calls for for 60 debit. And, and so that is a, um, a, a net credit of five for the trade. However, you do need to put up um, 2,400 per contract. So what is that? That is 24, because it's 24 strike puts. They have to buy a hundred of them, so that's twenty-four hundred, and ten thousand means this is a twenty-four million dollar trade. Okay, so quite a large trade by a large institutional uh, investor. So let's take a look at the options chain. Um, this is um, the trade um, here. Ten thousand volume here you'll see and greater than than the open interest same with here greater than the open interest we did a slightly different trade um, because we didn't want to use so much of that buying power um, and so for their trade what they did is they bought the 28s uh, strike calls and sold the 24s so this is when you analyze this this is um, Oh, range resources. If you don't know, is a natural. Um, this is a natural resource company. You'll see here, uh, natural gases. Okay, so um, and and so when we look at that uh, um, risk profile of the profit loss, you'll see that it's actually a it's a bullish bet. Um, that will profit it's below, above the zero line um, when the price goes up it's just on the x-axis it's at $25 now and uh, so they have a lower uh, they reduce their break even here all the way here to about $24 23.8 so by expiration date they won't be at a loss if it drops uh, more to 23.8 Eight. So that's their why they did this. They use a lot of their buying power to do that. Twenty three point eight. That's all the way down here. So this, I would say, is the um, bottom. Um, but they are also betting that it could be going up from here, and that it will stay as long as it stays above this mark. This will be a profitable trade. Okay, and so. What we did for our trade, um, if you look at our trade here, this is our, we did a vertical bull spread. Uh, so vertical um, bull call spread, we bought the 26, okay? And then we sold the 28, which was at a higher volatility because there was a lot of buying at that price. So we were, um, if we analyze this trade, take their unusual options off, this is what our trade looks like. And so this, um, the max loss here you'll see is 68, um, but the max gain is 132. So that's risking one to make two. So that's what kind of a trade we like. We like to just risk one to make more than one, right? Um, the thing about this trade is 
that there is a negative uh, theta decay. It's slightly, uh, it's pretty, it's not too bad. It's uh, 0.6 negative, right? So that's why we still took this trade. Um, and if it does drop below that that bottom that we think that 23.8, uh, um, we will cut our losses um, so that we don't lose the entire 68 per contract. That will only be losing 50% um, of the trade. So um, yeah, we'll put like a um, a kind of a an alert at that price level of 23.8, and we'll just right click, create an alert. If it drops below it, we can inform our kind of let us know to um, close that vertical spread. So that's one way you can do stop losses for options is you have to manually do it. Um, and so, yeah, um, if you learned something on this uh, video, please give us a like, subscribe if you haven't, and hit that bell icon to get notified whenever we see these unusual options. Take care, everybody, and good luck.